One morning, um, two officers came to our unit, strangers, and said they'd like to have two nurses to go with them because there was some people down the way that were sick and they needed some help. I picked another nurse and we got in a command car and all of a sudden I saw rings of wire, bob wire, all bent and this, that, and yeah, in the most beautiful farm area. We stopped inside the, this fence and they opened the door and what I saw, I cannot forget. I, it's this beautiful young girl was in so much pain. She had her legs up and she was rocking like this, just to have something. Her hair was all gone. She had a rag tied around. And she didn't have anything on her, on her knees, but she had some kind of funny things on her feet. They knew all about this, the Army did, but they, knew, but they had no one had ever told us, or me anyway, about this mistreating of people. We, I went with the doctor, and my friend went with, it was the other doctor, and we, he listened, and he, he told me later, he said, I, some, so many of them had uh, lung trouble, he said, I'm afraid it's tuberculosis, and he said, I don't want to put them with the other young women, and he said, they're, they're starving. They had a little uh, place there. We sent them all around the entrance, and they drank their hot chocolate and stuff, and, and ooh, more, you know, maybe. He said, no, no, two is enough now. And so we, we bathed them. We had a, a, an aide and a nurse with each person, and we scrubbed them down, and it was terrible.